Hey everybody, uh, today I'll be planting out some seeds for my early spring crops and I just thought you might want to see what I'm planting this spring. If we haven't met yet, I'm Kim and welcome to my garden where I use a no-dig style of gardening to try and grow more food for my family. Now let's get growing. <music> Alright, so I got a bunch of seeds that I want to plant today. Um, when I was a kid, my grandmother used to, I remember her planting broccoli. So I tried to plant broccoli this past, um, this past fall and it actually worked. And I got a couple of broccoli heads. It's still sprouting some side shoots. So I wanted to try um, to plant an another crop of broccoli. Um, broccoli takes kind of long. It, should be ready in about 60 to 70 days maybe but anyway I got this broccoli from Baker Creek Seeds um, they have a lot of heirloom varieties of seeds so I got a lot to plant but this year I thought I would plant um, a little bit of each thing versus a lot of one thing so couple of seeds in each um, in each cell here um, just in case a couple of them don't germinate and uh, don't forget to label your seeds because you think you might remember but you probably don't um, and the next I'm gonna plant um, some spinach um, this is the Japanese type of spinach um, called horenzo I haven't really had that much success with spinach um, I think it's when I've tried to plant it I think it's too warm spinach is actually a cold weather crop and it doesn't really get cold in Hawaii um, like for example, this morning it was um, 64, and that's about that's about as cold as it'll get, and that might not be cold enough for spinach. Uh, next, I'm going to plant some mustard cabbage. Well, here's the seed package. Um, I think these I will, well, once they germinate, I think I will put these in my aquaponics system. I have a um, aquaponics grow bed that I've had running for probably the last 10 years. And so uh, leafy greens do really well in the aquaponics system so the leaves stay really tender and so I think I am going to pop these in there um, when they are done. Next up I've got some, um, this is called Shanghai Green Choi which is a bok choy from Baker, Se uh, Baker Creek Seeds. Uh, I just put multiple seeds in one cell and when they come up then I will um, prick them out into uh, larger seed trays. So that's the Shanghai bok choy. And then I planted these um, Chinese cabbage, this Rubicon variety from Johnny Seeds this year and uh, they did really well but I s didn't space them out enough so they kind of got overcrowded and the ones that the ones that were stronger took over and so I am going to space them farther apart this time but they made like maybe a three pound head of 
Chinese cabbage, which I made kimchi out of. <clears throat> so I think if I space them out correctly, I'll have better success this year. Okay, so that's the first seed tray. That's done. I am just going to sprinkle a little bit of potting mix over it. Give it a really light covering of this potting mix. And I've already pre-moistened my potting mix in the seed cells, so it's pretty damp. People like to say wet it is so that it's sort of like crumbly brownie mix. Okay. And my next. I'm gonna, I'm trying out this other type of, um, this other variety of Chinese cabbage. Um, it's called, um, the variety is called Hilton, Hilton Greens from Baker, Baker Creek Seeds. Um, it's supposed to be really good for making kimchi as well. And I prefer to make kimchi with my Chinese cabbage uh, versus cooking with it. But my parents like to cook with it, so. Okay, so we'll try that and we'll see how it goes. It's my first time growing this. Okay, and then I've got some home saved seed Thai basil uh, for my friend Laurie over on Oahu. And so it's always good to have some Thai basil in your yard. So I'm going to try and plant these, see what happens. So these are home saved, saved seeds, so there's a lot of extra extra things in it other than just the seeds so let me pick out a few seeds and see if these guys will grow i'm just starting to save my own um, seeds And uh, you can save your own seeds if they are not of the F1 variety. Uh, because the F1 variety is a hybrid cross and so you probably won't get the same plant if you save the seed and try to regrow it. <clears throat> okay, put my little tag in there. All right, that's done. I am going to I'm going to plant some I'm trying to plant these um Aoi onions and I have some that need to be um transferred into my grow beds. They are I multi sowed them and so they're ready to go in the garden and you can um succession plant them. So you can, you don't have to have all of your onions ready all at once because in Hawaii we don't have, um, it's, it's difficult for us to save our onions because we don't have cold storage like a root cellar. Uh, but these onions, I am multi sowing them. So that means I'm putting, uh, I don't know, seven to nine um, seeds per cell. And um, if, if I thin them out to maybe three per cell and then transplant them into the garden, they will get bigger than if I leave them all clumped together. But onions like to be together with their friends. And so uh, multi-sowing is a good option for them to save space. And as they grow, the bulbs will start to form and they will push apart. And so, um, it works really well. All right, so that's Maui onions. And also, if you're gonna try and plant onions, make sure you get the correct variety for the area where we live. So in Hawaii, um, where any any southern states or southern 
locations you should be planting a short date onion which because our our summers are not that long uh, maybe we get 12 hours of sunlight maybe or maybe 13 13 and a half um, or even 14 but that you would need to plant a short date onion if you want to be successful um, so it's important to get the right kind of onion um, they, uh, there are also long day onions and intermediate um, day onions, so make sure you get the right one for where you live. Um, these ones I just planted are from Urban Farmer, and this is a red creole onion. So, okay, so all of these are multi-sown. and tamp it down a little bit so that the soil makes contact with the seeds so that they can germinate and again I've already um, pre-moistened this tray okay I also pre-made some holes in the trays so let me I didn't do it in this one so let me hurry and Get the holes in here and we're going to be planting some beets um, beets are another um, vet root vegetable that you can multi sow so you can grow them in a clump of four or five and as they grow they'll push apart and get bigger and then you can um, harvest the biggest one first and then let the others grow and come to the size that you would like and uh, then go ahead and harvest those so it's almost like succession planting the other thing is beets right. they're in these little seed pods here and uh, the thing about these seed pods is they actually have maybe two or three seeds in them so um, I'm gonna try to put four to a cell yeah, but it's more than likely that more than four beets will sprout because although I'm putting four seeds in here, four seed little containers, there may be multiple seeds in them, so. But because I'm multi-sowing them and they will um, get ready at different times, it doesn't matter that I am, that I may get five or six um, seedlings in one cell because I can harvest them um, in succession. So I'm not gonna have like, this is uh, six, so I'm not gonna have 30 beets ready all at once. Um, <clears throat> and believe it or not, beets can actually stay in the ground um, for quite, quite a while before they um, get really woody and really hard so you you have a you have some time to harvest them so <clears throat> I'm gonna plant uh, I got these as a free seed from um, from the seed company and uh, this is a uh, ruby red beets so I'm gonna try these and see how see how they do never planted them before but they were free, so hey, I'm gonna try. And again, I'm putting about four. I try to aim for four seeds in a cell. Okay. And this is the Ruby Queen. And then I have a whole bunch of tomatoes that I am trying, but I'm only going to plant a few because um, 
if they're an indeterminate plant, they will just keep producing uh, tomatoes and you really don't need more than one or two plants of each. So I'm going to plant, I'm going to try and put maybe two seeds in each cell just in case. And uh, this one is called Mater, Mater Sandwich. Um, and I think that the tomatoes uh, grow up to 16 ounces. So it's just something. Um, I just want to see if I could grow a tomato that big. All right, so that's my Mater Sandwich. I just got these seeds. This is from uh, uh, Whole Farms on Oahu. These are Kahuku Golden Tomatoes. Um, so I'm, just, I'm gonna try these. I have no idea how it's gonna grow, but I wanted to support a uh, local seed, local farm, and local seed company. The thing about tomato seeds is they're so tiny. Okay, so these are Kahuku Gold tomatoes. Okay, and tomatoes are pretty easy to um, save seeds as long as they are not a hybrid tomato. If they're an heirloom tomato, then um, you could save the seeds. You just uh, dry out the tomato a little and oh, and uh, a whole bunch of those came flying out. I don't need that many. Um, sit it in a cup of water sit the tomatoes in a cup of water uh, until it ferments a little bit uh, maybe like a day or two and then you can pour out the water with the seeds on a paper towel and dry it and um, and then you can save your own home seeds home saved seeds um, this is a legend slicing tomato this is from territorial seed company so I'm going to try those and again I'm only planting two or three of them per tomato because really two tomato plants per each kind of potato, uh, tomato, two tomato plants per each variety of tomato is um, more than enough for a home garden, I think. This next tomato is a Pomodoro um, Squisito, which is a San Marzano hybrid, which is um, a paste tomato or a sauce tomato. Um, I have a whole Ziploc bag of tomatoes in my freezer, San Marzano's, that I am going to make some sauce out of. Um, and because these are San Marzano's, I am going to plant a little bit more of them. I'm going to put a couple more seeds in here and then when they start to sprout, I will prick them out into a bigger, bigger container, bigger seed tray. All right. Let me cover up these real quick and get on to the next thing. Tamp them down a little bit so they make contact with the seed. Again, this is damp compost. I've already pre-moistened it. Um, and then from now on, I will put a little water with my high-tech water bottle sprinkle jug that I made. Okay, those are San Marzano's. Okay. Then I have this, oops, this is a regular San Marzano. Um, this is from Seeds, a company called Seeds. Now I've never purchased seeds from them, so I just wanna see how these San Marzanos, um, how these San Marzanos grow. So I'm just gonna plant a few of them. Okay, San Marzano's right there. And then 
I bought these because they look like this and they're purple, beautiful purple and red um, tomato. It's called the black strawberry. And I like the way they look, so I bought the seeds. We'll see how they taste. They're supposed to be sort of a sweet and tart tomato. I'm just gonna plant a few of these because really I just need, I pretty much just need one plant. All right, so that's my black strawberry tomato. Okay, and now on to my peppers. Um, I'm gonna try and plant this probano, poblano pepper. This is from Baker Creek. You could use these to make chili rellenos. You could dry them and use them for as a chili. Um, use them for chili powder. So I'm just gonna plant a few of these because I have no idea how prolific this plant is. Um, this is a tam jalapeno which is a jalapeno that is not as hot as the regular jalapeno. Um, I just grew some cascabella peppers and boy, let me tell you, that thing knocks your socks off, man. That I pickled some of those and they are super, super spicy. So they were a bit too spicy for us. So let's see how these, um, Tam jalapenos go for making some pickled peppers. Okay, I got some home save bell pepper seeds. I don't know if they're gonna grow. I have no idea if they're gonna even produce the same pepper plant that I got these seeds from, but you know how sometimes when you open up a bell pepper uh, that you bought from the store, if you look inside, sometimes there's a plant growing on We'll see if they actually do grow but those are my home saved bell pepper seed fill these up here because i am going to plant my cucumbers in my party cups because they tend to get big pretty quick and so i don't want to have to pop them on so soon okay so let me move this out of the way Okay, so I'm gonna try these um, uh, cucumbers called diva cucumbers, which are um, kind of like baby cukes. They're like the ones we get in the store. They're tiny, um, supposedly very crunchy. Uh, now the thing about cucumber seeds, there is clearly a pointy side and a flatter side and we want to point these uh plant these pointy side down so i'm going to put in two per container um, and you want to put them pointy side down because they're already that way they'll already be facing the direction in which they grow so we'll give them a head start so that's, those are divas. Diva cucumbers right there. And then I am going to plant my mom's favorite, this bumpy um, Japanese cucumber, super crunchy. Um, this is called Shio Kuri. Or as my grandparents used to say, cutie kumba, which is like cucumber cucumber in Japanese and English. Okay, so pointy sides down. And I am planting two seeds per party cup, just in case uh, 
one doesn't make it and then later on I'll go around I'll go through and I will cut the uh, weaker of the two all right so that's my shield cutie I haven't had that much success with cucumbers I always have problems with um, worms and so hopefully they will do okay and now these cucumbers I got from Whole Farms I wanted to support a local company so I've got a few of these seeds to try let's see how they go there's no picture on it and there's nothing on here other than it says Jap Japan cucumber so I have no idea um, how they should turn out and then this one here is my Mexican sour gherkin which is sort of like a novelty cucumber it's sort of sour and sort of um, tart and when they grow they look like little itty bitty watermelons so I'll just put a couple of seeds in there okay And there we have it. Um, I am also going to be planting carrots, but I'm going to direct sow them into my garden. And I got a bunch of beans that I'm going to plant. I have um, a pole bean. I have string bean. That's a home save, save seed from my dad's friend. Um, and they're excellent beans. Um, so I'm going to plant those. I also have some peas that are going into the ground, but first I need to inoculate them with um, some fungi to help them along. And then I have a whole bunch of flowers that I intend to plant so that we can attract some pollinators. So thanks for watching and check back in about two or three weeks to see how my seedlings are growing. All right, thanks.